Hello and welcome back to Kamui. We are now in stage two, heading through the St. Anglosaurus Road, whatever the hell that is. And this stage is actually very heavily inspired by stage three of Ray Force. In fact, most of the stages in this game are, to some degree or another, uh, inspired by one of the stages in uh, Ray Force. Like, stage 4 is uh, somewhat inspired by the final stage, or next to last stage, I forget which it is. Stage 3 is inspired by stage 6, or something like that. But, uh, whatever it is, each level does heavily draw from Rainforest. Now, those orange planes that you see when you uh, shoot down with the lightning beam, they fall slowly so that, um, you know, they can be targeted by your lightning beam and destroyed for many times more than their usual amount of bats. If you're going for score, that is. Score doesn't actually do anything for you in this game. It has no mechanical benefit. In fact, the only game in the series where score does have a mechanical benefit is Altinex Second. So really, if you're not playing for a score, you can uh, just ignore it in uh, Reflex and uh, Kamui. Now these towers can actually be destroyed in uh, one of two ways. First is just shooting it down with your main shot or a lightning beam. But you can also destroy the base of the tower uh, using your homing thunder if you want a uh, multiplier for it. I guess some days I don't want to score multiplier. Who needs points? Yeah, though, points don't uh, automatically mean you're better at a game uh, in some games. For example, uh, in uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, the less you die, the uh, lower your score uh, will likely be, so... The lowest scoring completions are the ones where the uh, guy didn't die as well. Okay, so Kokotaka is much more ferocious than Soryu was. And I believe it's around here where I take my first hit. Yeah, there it goes. Well, my first hit in Kamui. I've been hit plenty in the other games so far. So, you either need to destroy a bunch of the emplacements on the wings or hit the main body enough, uh, so... But either way, will cause the wings to drop and uh, cause it to go into the next phase. It's possible to actually uh, kill this boss on the first uh, pattern cycle, but uh, I don't manage to do that yet. I get close, but not good enough. Now here you want to be towards the top of the screen if you're worried about room to dodge. Because those beams can really hem in the corners. However, it's still not too tough. By the way, those beams it fires and its death throws can actually damage you. So, in any case, that's it. See you next time.